Hi everybody, Brian from Water Control Corporation, here to talk to you today about the removal of iron from domestic water. So, one of the most reviled contaminants in our domestic water supply is dissolved iron, also known as ferrous bicarbonate. People despise this mineral for the taste, odor, and red staining it causes, even at low levels like 0.3 parts per million. While municipalities will normally remove the iron from their supplies at a central plant, it's up to the individual home or business owner to take care of water systems that are being supplied by private wells. In most residential and commercial applications, iron gets removed via an oxidation filtration process. In other words, iron must first be brought out of solution, i.e. changed from ferrous bicarbonate into ferric oxide or rust, and then it must be filtered. Different systems use different medias and methods to do this. Many older technologies use the media to first absorb the iron and then rely on regeneration with nasty chemicals like potassium permanganate to get the media cleaned of the iron. In other words, the actual oxidation occurs after the fact during regeneration. Newer technologies use medias and methods that are able to completely oxidize and filter out the iron using different combinations of simple water and air. The best system that we know of is what we utilize in our water control megabyte residential and IF series commercial iron filters. With this technology, iron rich water is sent into a mineral tank via what looks like a typical water softener control valve. As water enters the tank, it first passes through an air bubble created and maintained by the valve. This begins the oxidation process. The water then passes through an oxygen-rich media bed where the oxidation is completed. All dissolved iron becomes insoluble flakes of ferric oxide or rust. The media serves the dual purpose of trapping this rust as well. Clear, clean water flows out to the facility. Regeneration of this air-injected iron filter technology is accomplished by first backwashing the media. This blows the rust particles down the drain. Then the tank drains itself completely of water, which gives the media bed an air bath of sorts. After 90 minutes or so, the tank is refilled with water, with the air pocket being reestablished and the unit goes back into service. Single tank systems are set up for this regeneration in the middle of the night. Multiple tank systems have the advantage of additional tanks remaining online even when one is regenerating. These systems provide years of maintenance-free service with no additional chemicals, no air compressors, and no other accessories needed. Often, we're asked about using ion exchange, basically water softeners, for iron removal. Yes, it is possible, but within reason. Residentially, we really don't want to go beyond five or six parts per million of iron. Commercially, two parts per million is the cutoff for using a water softener to remove iron. In either case, the softener will need to be set up to regenerate more frequently than normal, typically with a time clock override, in order to protect the media from getting ruined. To get started on your residential or commercial iron filtration system, please contact Water Control Corporation.